Dear colleagues, this is a very hard cataract. You can see the black appearance of the cataract. Nuclear sclerosis in this case will be about grade 6. I have taken up this case for surgery. Let us watch the surgical steps. The main incision and one side port on the right side of the main incision have been made. And this is another side port on the left side of the main incision. Now, I want to stain the anterior capsule with tripe and blue dye. And I always do that underneath an air bubble. This is the tripe and blue dye. I'm using the dye to get some contrast during capsular axis. Now, this is a little bit of adrenaline. The pupil has dilated well, but if I can get a little more dilatation, it will be helpful. Now, the dye is washed out of the anterior chamber using BSS. Now, viscoelastic substance, HPMC, hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose, is being injected into the anterior chamber. Viscoat or converting sulfate of any form has not been used. And now, the anti-capsule is incised with tripe and blue dye. And this is SPMC being sprayed over the corneal epithelium to improve visibility. Now, with the help of uh, utrata forceps, I hold the capsular tag go anticlockwise and do a large capsular axis about 6 mm or so if we do large rexis in hard cataracts management of nucleus will be easier genular stress will be less now see hydrodissection at multiple points. The nucleus is tapped gently and it is rotated. Viscoelastic substance is again injected. And now I am going to debulk the nucleus. The central portion the hard core of the nucleus is being removed by sculpting with bevel down posture. The machine being used is Oatly Cataract 3 and FECO power at this time is 90%. Flow rate is 25 ml per minute. Vacuum is 80 millimeter of mercury. Now after sculpting for some time, I make the bevel off and again I do some more sculpting. Thus the central core of the nucleus is removed and the nucleus is weakened. Now I am going to chop. I have asked my assistants to set the machine in FECO 2 mode where at this time the power is 85%, flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. And I am chopping the nucleus into many small fragments. And here I have divided the nucleus into almost two halves. But the central plate, posterior plate, is leathery, and I'm sure it is not totally 
separated. So what I do is I come out, inject some more viscoelastic substance, SPMC, and then I take two instruments, a chopper and a Sinsky hook. The chopper in my left hand. Yes, here I can see that the nucleus has divided into two halves. And this heminucleus has been separated, but this heminucleus could not be separated. It is, the two pieces are still joined centrally. And now I inject visco again and the tip of the FECO handpiece is introduced and in FECO 2 mode I start emulsifying the fragments. FECO power 85%, flow rate 45 ml per minute, vacuum 450 millimeter of mercury. With high power, the pieces are being emulsified easily and it is coming out easily. So almost on heminucleus is emulsified. This is a fragment. And now this large fragment, I want to inject again some more viscoelastic substance position this fragment nicely and then I want to emulsify this fragment. I want to rotate this fragment and bring the apex and tilt it so that I can attack from the apex. Here it is. I go from here and I attack from the apex and the two pieces become separate. That's it. This is the last small piece. A portion of this piece is emulsified and then I remove the chopper for the last small bits so that the chamber becomes more stable. That's it. We have conquered a black battle. Now this cortex is being removed using a Simco cannula. This is a 23 gauge Simco cannula and it goes to the side ports very easily. That's it. Some cells are sticking to the posterior capsule. I ask the irrigating probe and I just sweep the irrigating fluid over the posterior capsule very gently and thus the cells get dislodged and the posterior capsule becomes clean. There's a small nuclear or epinuclear piece near 9 o'clock it will come out. The lens is being implanted in the capsular bag. It's a foldable intraocular lens. Hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens. 
the patient belongs to a uh, our free service category and we could not afford to give a hydrophobic IOL in this case. Now see how the nuclear piece comes out. Here it is. The small nuclear or epinuclear piece came out just because of irrigation. So, in this case, the strategy for nucleus management has been to debulk the hard nucleus. The central core of the nucleus has been debulked and a crater has been made. Now the nucleus was chopped into several fragments. Viscoelastic substance was injected. Two instruments were used on chopper and on Sinsky hook. The chopper that I used is has been designed by me and it is called a micro chopper. It is available with Joser surgicals. And now the viscoelastic substance is thoroughly removed. At this moment, I'm using the irrigating probe to remove the viscoelastic substance from the capsular bag. Now, irrigation and aspiration both are being used together. So, dear colleagues, we have to take challenges. Unless we do some challenging cases, we can't improve our skills. We can't go to the next higher level of competence. So I encourage you to take off challenging cases. The side ports are hydrated and a final antechamber lavage is done and antechamber is formed and the case is concluded. See how beautiful is the main incision. There is no own burn. 